in today's video, we're making one of my favorite chili recipes. It is quick, easy, and delicious and takes very little time for a last minute dinner preparation. Stay tuned. To my heated instant pot, I will add in one tablespoon of olive oil. I will then add in my chopped onion and chopped green pepper to the instant pot. This will begin to sizzle with all the goodness here. And then I will just stir the vegetables around until they start to saute. I will now add about one teaspoon of minced garlic to the Instant Pot and then stir those vegetables a little more. I want to make sure that the minced garlic does not burn or does not stick in the Instant Pot. So just be very careful when adding this in. You wanna make sure that you're constantly stirring. Okay, and now I'm adding in my ground beef. I will add in roughly two pounds for this recipe. Um, we prefer more beef over the beans. My fiance has a very sensitive stomach when it comes to the beans, so this is how we'll make it for today. And I'm just breaking up the ground beef now to get that evenly distributed with the green peppers, the onion, and the garlic. We are now ready to cook the meat. So I'm going to cover the Instant Pot and saute for 15 to 20 minutes. It's been 15 minutes, so I'm just going to check on the ground beef, stir this up, and just allow to cook for a few more minutes. I have drained my ground beef and now I will add in my chili seasonings. I will list these seasonings in the description box below. For this recipe, I am adding in black beans. These have been rinsed. And I'm adding in rinsed pinto beans. I am using this to replace the kidney beans. I will now add two cans of tomato paste to the Instant Pot. Using the tomato paste cans, I'm adding six cans of water to the Instant Pot. And finally, I'm adding a little bit of salt to the chili. I will now place the lid on the Instant Pot and set the timer for pressure cook for 25 minutes. I did not stir the chili because if I do stir that before it cooks, it tends to stick at the bottom of the Instant Pot. That's just a lesson learned. So I just simply added all the ingredients in and turned on the timer to cook. I will stir after the 25 minutes is up. Okay guys, the 25 minutes is up and now I am going to release the steam. It is very hot and takes a 
about almost eight to 10 minutes for the steam to release. So I'll patiently wait on this um, to finalize and then we will open and stir. All right, guys, the steam has released and now we are going to stir up this delicious chili. It smells great and I know everything is well cooked. So we will combine this here and just let this sit for a little bit. Um, I usually like to just close it back up and let it steam for a little bit longer. But this is what we've come up with. Oh, it looks so good, guys. I am so ready to eat right now. I love how meaty this chili is. I did add about two pounds of ground beef to this batch of chili. We are meat people and we really enjoy the, the meat just kind of overpowering the beans actually. And here's the final product, guys. It smells heavenly, and it was so easy to make. I hope you like this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And come back and join me in the next one. Have a great week. Bye-bye.